have a range of activities and also a range of uh, ways that people can engage. I know that UPS probably has the same issue, but you know we have our tow truck drivers at AAA, and they can't they can't always attend. They don't have computers; they don't have desks. So. Um, you know, some of our um, ERGs have started to just record their meetings, um, just strictly audio, so that they can listen to them if they want to participate that way, um, or actually printed, um, you know, print out the, the newsletter and have it placed in their cubby so that they can check it out that way. Um, so trying to meet your team members where they are and where it makes sense for them so that they feel um, it's easier for them to engage and that, that technology might not be a barrier. Um, Something else that we do is we present about our ERGs for every new hire class um, and our DEI programs, but um, we share a bit about every ERG and make sure that team members know that they're welcome to join them all. Even if you don't you know, personally identify with the group and you just are an ally or you want to learn more, you can join as many ERGs as you want. Um, and that we do have that, that paid time, um, two hours a month for you to participate in ERG activities. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is, is something going back to that Janine said is just making sure that you know everybody knows that they're encouraged, especially like managers, letting them know that they that they have their team members have permission to participate in these activities um, and making that kind of an expectation and and really embedding it in the culture that this is what we do here and it's okay for them to take the time to participate um, and and have leaders help with the communication about those events too.